from someone there? No one stopped me yet. You stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years. But it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Keep your distance, love.
all's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hmm. I am listening. My faith will guide me. Is that blood? No, never mind. What now? Best get going. Lurking under the floor. I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? But Cazador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Vampire nest. You truly can find everything in the city. I'd better keep my throat protected. Gothic, decadent, vulgar. This place clearly had quite the influence on Astarian's tastes. Ominous. Yet off the hills. This place has its charms. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited, somehow, to witness the Skull's memories. It seems urgent. This Skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. You were distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth's lesson. Velioth recalls when Cazador rebelled against him. Cazador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. You let the shock of impalement allow your focus to waver and Valioth's words drift away, lost in the mists of time. Valioth recalls Cazador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valioth recalls Cazador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then, to mock him, 
clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Cazador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Even his precious room. So grand, uh, of course, but it does. Now we just need to see. <clears throat> Guilds, nobles, politicians. If he controlled even a fraction of these, the city could be his. And no one now. Like the door to the ballroom upstairs, the ring slots. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. He so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. dirt and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. Then they're bound to the Black Mass, too. Bound through the scars. Through me. I know these faces. Every one that shares my scar. They're my... conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? down here. One hundred and seventy years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from 
from me. You took everything from me. Kill him. That monster. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. And then? What happened to us? No, you can't leave us here. Not now, not like this. This nightmare never ends, and it's your fault. You did this, damn you! I damn you to the hells! I damn you to misery! I damn you! Hey, hey, you, come closer. Oh, God, it can't be. It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you. How chivalrous of you. As if I need defending from these children. If I ever get out of here, you'll wish you died when you were bitten. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. He's the reason we're spawns. Uh, I'll kill you! Uh, <laughs> yes, now that you um, <laughs> mention it, I may have done that. Oh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. Well, that could have gone better. Gods above. He kept Sebastian. The children I can understand leverage against their parents, but... Sebastian? I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. Not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. It's just sickening, seeing them again. I don't know what else. Shah's blessings upon you.